Welcome into the Panthers.com video mailbag. Staff writer Max Henson here on the heels of Carolina's 24-10 defeat to the Denver Broncos in Super Bowl 50. We've got a few questions starting with Steve on Twitter who asks, what's the sense of the players in the locker room right now? History usually says the loser of the Super Bowl doesn't make it back. You're right. It's obviously difficult to make it back to the Super Bowl after getting there the year before. You need a lot of things to fall into place. You need to have a special team, a special group of coaches and players come together and, and have things go your way. You got to be really talented, of course, as well. And that's what this Panthers team is. That's what they're going to continue to be going into next year. The, the core of this group is going to be together. They're going to be really good. Of course, Kelvin Benjamin coming back is going to boost things as well. I think for Ron Rivera and his Panthers team, the message is look at the Denver Broncos, really. You talk about another talented team that two years before this Super Bowl victory lost in heartbreaking fashion to the Seattle Seahawks. And that game wasn't very close. They suffered a really brutal defeat at the hands of Seattle. Two years later, they were back in the Super Bowl winning it. Of course, Carolina doesn't want to wait two years. They want to go right back next year for Super Bowl 51. But that's kind of the model which Coach Rivera has given his team to look at. And I think that's what they're going to try to do. And they're very confident that they have what it takes to get back. Of course, they need some time to rest, regroup, clear their minds, get ready for another run next year. But right now, they know what it took to get there. They reached the mountaintop. They didn't quite reach the peak. That's kind of what we've heard from these players. And they want to take those few more steps to get to the top. We've got our next question from Justin Richmond, who says, I hope the 2016 season will be just as good for them as 2015. Something about that Super Bowl just wasn't right. And you're right. It, there's something wasn't right about that Super Bowl for Carolina. It was not the same team that we had seen throughout the regular season. And really, you got to give Denver a lot of credit for that. It was what they did defensively that really took Carolina off their game. That, that first quarter strip sack, which ended up becoming a touchdown for Denver, really was a shell-shocking moment that Carolina never seemed able to recover from. And you talk about this Panthers team that had never trailed in the postseason prior to the Super Bowl. And in Super Bowl 50, they never led, and they were trailing the entire way. And it, it kind of just speaks to the flow and the rhythm of that game. And, and Carolina was never really able to put the pressure back on Denver. It seemed like it was on their shoulders throughout the night, and they just couldn't break through. You look at some of the moments throughout that game, you, you talk about penalties, sacks, turnovers. These were things that really hadn't bit the Panthers throughout their 17-1 run to the Super Bowl, and it all kind of came to a head in Super Bowl 50. And again, you give a lot of credit to that Denver defense. They really won that game for the Broncos. And for Carolina, it was just too tough a challenge to overcome. We've got our last question from Josh Allen, who says, with no glaring weaknesses on the roster, what position groups will be primary focus of free agency in the draft? Of course, we're just getting started into this now, still kind of looking back on 2015 before we look too far forward into 2016 and team needs. And it's going to be a lot of time spent for Dave Gentleman and his staff to build this roster. But when you start talking initially about them, of course, the secondary does come to mind. You wonder about the cornerback position, what's going to happen there for Carolina with Charles Tillman, of course, being a starter this year, nearing the end of his career. We'll see if he decides to come back, see if the Panthers bring him back. Of course, Benet Ben Wickery is coming off a season-ending injury. So we'll see what they do with that position, but I really go back to Dave Gittleman and the three truths that he gave at his end-of-season press conference, talking about them being running the ball, stopping the run, and pressuring the quarterback. And that really is his formula for success. And when you enter free agency in the draft every year with Dave Gittleman at the helm, he's going to be looking to beef up those areas. The big men allow you to compete. That's what you hear every time Dave Gittleman seems to get up and stand in front of the mic. So when you talk about free agency in the draft, I would certainly look at both lines of scrimmage, defensive line, offensive line, wherever they feel like they can boost those two areas, you definitely could see Carolina address that and pressuring the quarterback. I mean, you saw it from Denver Broncos in the Super Bowl, what that can do to a team, always looking to get more pass rushes on the field. It could be something Carolina looks forward to. Well, thanks for the questions this year, everybody. I know it was a great season. We look forward to providing coverage for you all throughout the offseason right here on Panthers.com.